All right, grand evening, everyone. It's Shay Seeking, and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to go ahead and go into, again, uh, 1 Corinthians, and we're going to do the end of 3 and go into 4. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you know, I don't do... Uh, you know, these holidays, but I had to, um, you know, take the children to, you know, do their thing. And um, I ended up sitting in the car for a while, but it was kind of chill, you know what I'm saying? As long as I'm, you know, by myself and just in to my thoughts and, um, you know, again, connecting with others um, in the same mindset, you know, I'm good. So again, I'm just chilling right now. I wanted to do this before I went to bed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just do four. Because I think it's just very telling, again, with some things that I have um, seen in these days. Again, you know, I always look for a positive outcome, you know, at the end of the day when it comes to this information. You know, um, I feel like that we are here. And I think that this is a living word. Again, we're reading out of the Living Bible with the parallel King James. And... You know, I think that it's called the Living Bible for whatever reasons they have, but I look at it in layman's terms as, you know, it, this, some of this stuff is like a warning. Like some of us can see these things as they come. And so again, you know, you, you see that it's like it's written, so it's going to happen. But, you know, I've seen things take a different turn, you know, at times when it comes to the word, just by um, proclaiming things or just, you know, in general, um, just being aware, right, that people can kind of alter situations. So, like, if you see something that's happening in this instance in chapter 3, 4, whatever, we're doing the last of, like, 3, 21, uh, 3, 18 and down. And then we're going to go into 4 because it's kind of short. So, we should be able to get them both in one video. But um, <clears throat> it may be able to, you know, uh, steer you, again, in the uh, proper or positive um, direction, you know, if we look at these things. So again, um, let's see. <laughs> so we already did, uh, you know, and there's four videos, I think, already all together. I hope I labeled them properly, one, two, one through four. Um, and so again, we're going to go ahead and start back at 18. And it says, stop fooling yourselves. Um, if you count yourselves above average in intelligence as judged by this world's standards. Okay, so again, as judged by this world's standards, you had better... Put this all aside and be a fool rather than let it hold you back from the true wisdom from above. And again, we can look at that however you want to look at it. But again, um, since we're saying this world's standards, you know, I guess, um, you know what I'm saying? Because this is uh, letters from Paul. So I guess that we can look at this, you know, um, as they're saying this world's standards like pointing out this world or a world, or even when we're talking about when it comes to the world card the other day, right? Let's see what it says in the King James. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, okay? So any man be wise in this world. So again, this must be talking about in this world, like this worldly realm. Let him become a fool. And it also says any man, so people tend to look over the point that it's not saying any person, any people, any anything. It's saying any man. Okay? And again, mm. <laughs> I tried to find my chapstick, couldn't find it. So again, it's just going to be a lot of lick lipping. Lip, lip, licking, lip, lip licking. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, um, Okay. Yeah, so it says, seem uh, wise um, of this world, uh, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Uh, for wisdom is of this world, wait, for the wisdom of this world is foolish with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are in vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men. 
let no man glory in men. And it's funny that we're talking about glory and we're getting close to the fourth. Well, we're this is the fourth of July, but again, this is the last two or three verses in chapter three. Uh, for all things, okay. Therefore, let no man glory in men. So I'm guessing, yeah. No man glory in men. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Seph, Seph, Cephas, uh, Cephas. I mean, it's, it's funny how it's uh, C fast hmm. or the world or life or death or things present or things to come all are yours and ye are christ and christ is god so again this is this kind of struck me a little bit because this is the first time i really noticed that it says that christ is god so again so it says whether paul apollos uh cephas or the world <laughs> because again it just seems like we're talking about this world this worldly realm like this force you know it's, it's reminding me of mr world again from the american gods too or life or death so again it's making me think like living or dead regardless if you're living or dead <laughs> all things present or th things to come are all yours Ours, mine, God's, sources, the all. And ye are Christ's. This is, you know, is it saying they belong to Christ? Or are they saying that they are Christ's? Like, again. Or is it saying that they, but it has the, um, well, yeah, because ye are Christ and Christ is God. So again, they belong to God, you know. Um, it has the apostrophe. It's not like Christ with the, just the S there. So again, let's keep on going back to the Living Bible, okay? And I do this because it might introduce new terms and things like that or a new way of hearing it than with the King James because most people have the King James. Let's just go ahead and say it. <laughs> All right, so, okay. Rather let it hold you, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. So it says, um, you better put this all aside and be a fool rather than let it hold you back from the true wisdom from above okay for the wisdom of this world is foolish to god as it says in the book of job god uses man's own brilliance to trap him he stumbles, stumbles over his own wisdom and falls. And again, even though I'm specifying the fact that it's saying man, it could be also woman, you know, or, you know, what not. All right. Okay, and falls. And again, in the book of Psalms, we are told that the Lord knows full well how humans. So now we stop talking about uh, man and men and we're using the term um, human, minds, reason. And how foolish and false it is. So again, I would advise you to look up the term humans and mind. Okay? And um, how fruitile it is. So, so don't be proud of following the wise men of this world. So again, don't be proud of following the wise men of this world. Okay? For God has already given you everything you need. Okay? For God has already given you everything you need. He has given you Paul and Apollos and Peter as your helpers. He has given you um, the world, the whole world to use. Okay, so again, I don't know. I'm looking at a feminine energy here too. Like I'm just saying like, or just um, when it comes to this portion here. When it comes to this portion here, I'm, that's just what I'm seeing. Right? 
I'm okay. I'm seeing that for one thing. Okay. I'm just seeing it because I'm seeing it at a, in a different light, but also I'm seeing it also in a sense of there are going to be those that are going to be going dealing with the spirit. They're going to be dealing with um, those things that will be spiritual in a sense, right? And they're going to be leading, you know, uh, or, okay, walking with, right? Certain groups that are similar. Okay, people walking in faith or righteousness and things like that. Then you're going to have a portion where a God, again, or gods of this realm or a God, however you want to look at it, it's just saying God here, has already given you everything you need. Okay, so again, um, <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. But Christ, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Everything you need or everything we need. Hmm. He has given you Paul and Apollos and Peter as your helpers. He has given you the whole world to use. And life and even death are your servants. So again... So even the living and the dead, even the so-called black and the white, even the free and the bond, belongs to Christ. And ye are Christ and Christ is God. You know, I almost feel a sense of an absence. You know, I've been dwelling on this, you know, for the past um, couple of days. Like, it's, it's like a two or three day kind of event where I've just, I've, I don't know, I've just been sensing like an emptiness and maybe a loss, but also a coming in too, right? And again, sometimes like some of this stuff is happening around me. I, I wonder how much of this is just a facade? How much of this is something that has been placed into the simulation to make us feel some kind of way? How much of this is legit? How much of this is, again, although I'm able to see in all in a lot of different ways, right? Sometimes it is hard to decipher because I think that man gets in the way sometimes with his tools. We'll just say that. I think that with certain tools, man gets in the way. But I do think that some of these things that are happening, again, that we may look at and say, yeah, they're doing this, that some of it is just the works of the all. And again, <laughs> there are different gods in the Bible. It just is, okay? It's also reminding me of that Moana song that like, again, everything that she needed was it within her. And she has led the people to freedom basically and realized that they were voyagers. And you know, all these things like that song, you know, that, that movie is something else to me. It's, it's just, a, it seems like it, it's mimicking these times right now, telling stories of the past, but also like, I don't know, it's like a revelation to me almost. Um, okay. So again, somebody would need to know that, that God, okay, or Christ have given them everything to use at their disposal or her or he and that these very people may be at that time trying to act as if it's something else right because again i'm seeing that there's some people that are going to be servants to the god of this of these this realm this worldly realm and i'm seeing some kind of hmm i'm seeing some ways that i'm really not liking we'll just say this in a sellout fashion or form. And it's very close. It's very close to the community and it just bothers me. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to go too far on that. You know, this week is my week to go ahead and try to see what I can do about moving videos somewhere else, you know, because I feel like, yes, you know, I see it's like a domino effect. <laughs> and I do see that it's time, you know, it's just really time for me to, you know, 
keep, I'm going to keep this one, but I'm just saying, it's just time for me to figure something out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so again, he, ha he has given um, all of the present and all of the future. All um, are yours and you belong to Christ and Christ is God's. Okay, so now it's saying that you belong to Christ and Christ is God's. Hmm. So Apollo, okay, so now we're moving into chapter four. So it says, so Apollo and I should be looked upon as Christ's servants who distribute God's blessings by explaining God's secrets. Wow. Wow. Now, a most important thing about a servant is that he does just what his master tells him to. Uh, what about me? Oh, okay, hold on. Because <laughs> I'm thinking like, hmm. <laughs> Only when it comes to, are we talking about of this realm? Are we talking about source? It's very important to decipher which one you serve because you cannot serve two masters. They say. One you will hate and one you will love. These glasses, maybe I need to get them adjusted or something because it's just keep, they keep sliding down my nose. And my forehead. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do something like this. Mm. Anyway, okay. So, um... Again, so I see a lot of people trying to resonate in other people's energy. I see a lot of like, you know, copycat and, you know, um, other type of energies or whatever going on right now. And again, the reason why I bring this up is because I feel like we are in the times when we are seeing these particular types of energies or souls um, being raised up and being shown in a certain light here. And I think that we need to be careful that you know, people are not doing crafty things and placing other people in positions where they should not be, especially when it comes to positions of power, because then this is what leads to betrayal, greed, overthrowing, you know, a lot of recklessness. And I feel like this militia kind of mentality. Again, I feel like some reason some of these things are hidden from certain people, especially when it comes to this me. Like it comes to a point where I'm just having such, such a realization. And again, I feel like sometimes source can do that. Right. But I also feel like sometimes it's man-made. We're just going to use that term from now on. In order to block what God would have, like, like the whole thing, uh, that movie God is not dead, to block what God has in store. They have found a way to alter or create altars in the... Mm-hmm. I'm even seeing barcodes. I'm seeing serial numbers and alterations. I advise you to look up alter in etymology if you have a chance or the time. So in this time, there's going to be something where something, someone is supposed to be um, put in a certain place, but you're going to get an idol, I feel. And I think this idol is going to be connected to whatever energy or entity wants to brand you. Because for some reason, I feel like there's some kind of game of thrones, like I told you before going on. Only some people have been blinded to the measures and the ramifications, <laughs> the conditions. Like, I think that that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, like this is like, a, I don't know. I think that people think that this is a game because they're afraid of having the real Christ reign. But I'm going to say, if this is supposed to be forever, because remember in Revelations, 
I believe it is, that um, Christ is going to reign forever. But what I feel like they're going to try to find out who they feel like they can trust to keep the world in this worldly materialistic. Hi. <coughs> Woo. You heard that? Woo. Look at that. Where it come from? <laughs> Hybrid. Okay. That's the name. Throat chakra. <laughs> really? Okay. I know some going to probably say it's the three frogs, but again, it is what it is to you. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't want to have to cut it out. So you're just going to have to see what it was. All right. So it says, um, what else are we going to talk about? Now, most important thing about a servant is, okay, to do whatever his master says. So, again, if, now, if his master is the all, okay. But when it is a corrupt corporation, I don't know. I think a lot of people will be up in arms. So, again, hopefully that's not what the case is. Hopefully things getting straightened out. And hopefully this is not what's going on anymore overnight in this realm. But I doubt it. That's why we're going to be starting with the mind. That's what they start with to enslave you. And that's what you're going to have to start with to free us. There's not enough documents in this world. Doesn't mean that you can't do that. And then reach back. But it doesn't mean that you can't free minds. And you can do that a lot more quicker. And it's more beneficial in the long run. That's natural. That's something you can care, uh, carry along with you. And since we're saying that these, this road or this something is within this person, it would seem to me that this is someone who is bringing forth this change with words or with um, a way or a certain spirit, okay? And again, there's going to be those that are going to dabble in law and things like this. And again, everybody plays their own part. We just want to see what the Bible is talking about when it's talking about man and his law. And I think we're going to answer that within these next two chapters. And again, um, why Christ servants who distribute God's blessings. So again, Christ servants. These people supposed to be serving Christ, but you know what they're doing? They're blinding Christ. They're going against Christ. They're doing works on Christ. They want to harm Christ. They don't want to listen to Christ. Nobody wanted to listen to anything that Christ had to say. They want to block Christ. They want to isolate Christ. They want to ridicule and smear Christ. And if you're not aware of it, it may be happening in this very day. And you're going to wake up and realize that everything that comes smiling, see what they say about Satan? And so many of us have beautiful smiles, right? Come, 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 come. Out of nowhere, like a thief in the night. Seeking to see who he can devour. Or she. Mm-hmm. Torment. Hmm. A thief in the night. You know, that's the, th and it's funny. I didn't even really think I was going to bring that up tonight, but it just so happens that that's the, that's the thickness, the something that I feel in the air tonight. It's almost like a pull up kind of sensation. Maybe not even on Christ. Maybe on one of the servants of Christ. But servants of Christ went rogue and went against Christ. And they placed false idols. Mainly women. Before their God, their Christ. But Christ was crucified on the cross for the sins of the people. Ain't that something? <laughs> the 
Many will come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. But some are going to be walking with these particular energies and entities that we're naming here. Their names may not be the same today because they may be sons or descendants of. But Christ would be able to spot them. Christ would know who they were. Because these people would have been delivered onto Christ. Who is able to deliver, well, ships, the bellies of those beasts that we call ships can deliver cargo. There's going to be mothers of heaven or mother of heaven, mother of earth, or as sometimes we call it, uh, mother of heaven and earth. But is it the heavens of this world or the heavens here? See, because wisdom is stored up in here. But we got crafty counsel of wise men when it comes to treaties. And it's almost like trick or treat. And if anything, at the end of the day, I have to trust myself. And how I would never get on here and try to do anything that's going to lead my people astray. Or into a snare. Or sell off my people. Or the land. Which also is re very relatable with the people. But there are going to be some. That's going to try to exalt themselves. To the same level of Christ and God. Come bearing gifts. And what did they do to their God or their goddess? They went with their hands out like little babes. I'm the peace. And what happens to children that see something, dollar signs in their eyes? They see something promised to them that they never, you know, before. Well, some of them that have been planted there will excel. They will see others do the same thing. But if it's too far beyond them, greed takes in, deceit, slander, murder, <clears throat> backbiting, war, threats, Deceit. Smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place and your material. Be studying. But it's natural to Christ. Those who would be trying to be Christ would not be natural to them. It's just going to flow out of his mouth. Almost like a flame of fire. Roll off of his tongue like water. Or her. So again, they do what the... Um, app, uh, Servant is that he does just what his master tells him to. Okay, and we're specifying he again and him. So we're more than likely talking about a male, but a male, right? And this, I'm getting an energy of females here again because I feel like this whole thing that I'm feeling, right? Has stuff to do with envious and jealous female entities. Powerful females. And I think nobody ever wanted us to know that that's what we're really talking about. And 
almost, this is almost like a threatening, you know, I'm feeling this sense because there's a presence here. <laughs> a servant does what his master tells him to. And the, the fact that there's a killing or a culling that happens the chapter before this. And I've been feeling a sense of a loss or a, fit, a sense of something. You know, and like I said, sometimes I feel like this is programming and I feel like someone wants to give the perception of, but I do know that there's a lot of trickery and thievery and a lot of stuff that's going on on this plane right now that we're not talking about because we're talking about bull, you know what, on the news, in the headlines and on platforms instead of talking about what is really going on. Because some of these people <clears throat> that call themselves leaders in certain communities and these are communities in general that call themselves fighting for something, know exactly who they're riding with. And it ain't going to be you in the end. So you better watch your back. You better know who you're dealing with. And even if you know who you're dealing with, watch when something happens when they're going to need whatever the hell you got. A lot of people like to ride or die for people. And yeah, I had to learn that the hard way. So right now I have to really take my steps. Now that I know who I am and I'm walking in that strength... I cannot just be trusting anybody and doing anything. I can't just let anybody around me and my household and my energy. No. And now since I see exactly who some of these people is that think they coming, I can't let my guard down. Anybody that want to be around me at this point going to have to show and prove in a certain way. I, there's, there's no, it's, it's no nonsense. No nonsense. <laughs> like, no. Mm -mm. No. Not no more. You ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna wanna do that. And again, I know there's feminine energy and masculine energy involved. Because I see. But at least I'll have to say one thing. The masculine energies that surround me in a sense or have been around me in my company. It's hard to discern, but I think it's the whole Rahab syndrome because Rahab sent them in to spy. And it triggered it it turned it, it went another direction on that ass she probably wasn't expecting almost like how it went it, it, oh and she and they went out the other other side or the back door <laughs> on that ass unexpected unexpected that remind me of that pregnancy show. I used to watch it with my daughter when she was pregnant. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Damn, this is what I just said. Hold on. Okay, let's let's get to this, y'all. Come on, we're taking too long with it. Or is it just me that's taking too long? Okay, it's me. All right. <laughs> All right. So again, Christ servants who distribute God's blessings by expressing God's secrets. What is that? So Christ servants, some of these people supposed to be serving Christ and they serving their damn self all day long. Even serving they self some of Christ's blessings. <laughs> who distribute God's blessings. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't know why we didn't just say Christ servants who distribute Christ because it says right here that Christ is God. By explaining God's secrets. So is somebody going to be telling us, is somebody tattletelling on God? Is somebody exposing God and blaspheming God? Is somebody lying on God or a goddess? Is somebody distributing God's or Christ's information? 
Did God give them per permission to do so? Did somebody put the blindfold on God? Did somebody put some root work on God? What they do to God? Hold on. Because who in their right mind will have the audacity? Now, I know it's saying explaining God's secrets, but... Should it just be saying telling God's secrets? Well, let's see. Let's see what it's saying in this one. Let, let's see. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ. Let a man so account of us. I will look up account. I know we think we know, but sometimes we have no idea. As of the men, the ministers of Christ. And the stewards, the stewards. I will look that up too. Of the mysteries of God. Now, who is these people? You know, I was just thinking about when they said that it's going to be, things are going to be recorded in the heavens. Are we talking about some type of intelligence being used to monitor individuals today? Like a social credit system? Are we talking about spying on individuals and using things like this in order to um, shoo things about people in the dark. and Because, see, whatever's done in the dark is, see, that's what they want to do to us. But whatever's done in the dark comes to light, including the shit that you're doing. See, it's little things that I've mentioned over time about it ain't only so-called. See, they love to let you get away with that so-called white folks information and talk. Right? When we know dang on well, it goes bigger than that. We know who it is and I'm the one that pointed the finger at that. We know what it was. I can't tell you what it is right now. I'm observing. But we know what it was. And we know who was charging that at full throttle. And we know who wouldn't like that. And we know who would think, oh, is Christ here? Is Christ coming? Are there servants of Christ coming? What do we need to do? Oh, I know. We'll get a false idol. Something like Christ. We'll place it there and we'll have it or him or her distribute the information of, and then we can get rid of him after that, right? And it'll be more pleasing to the so-called gods of this world because they would be fearing the real Christ because that Christ would have been bringing some form of judgment with a sword. <laughs> you understand? Now, people might get it twisted because I sometimes and most of the time have a smile on my face. But I ain't come here to play. Especially not about my life. And what's mine. Including the throne. I am not a number. You can't slap a barcode on this. I am the earth. You can't purchase the earth. You can't purchase God.
What kind of price tag do you put on it? A goddess. Idol worship is running rampant here today on this plane. And it's going to put a lot of people in danger. It's going to put a lot of people in danger. <clears throat> some people going to just have a perception that they're in danger. And that's what some people want them to have. But some people going to be in danger. Because my father in this heaven is watching and judging and wait. I would imagine it feels like waiting for us to turn because he doesn't want to do some of the things like just in general. I'm just saying in the general, like if we're talking end times or revelations or some kind of revealing or anything or a lifting of the veil. Yeah, things are happening on this plane that people think are going to be beneficial to them. But they're going to plant these things and some of these things they're not even going to be able to harvest because of their wicked ways. Now, the most important thing about a servant is that he does just what his master tells him. Uh, what about me? Question mark. Have I been a good servant? Question mark. And again, this is a question. I just go off what I'm feeling, but I question myself all the time. Is that, am I doing this? Am I doing, you know, society going to try to make you feel some kind of way. They're going to use algorithms and all kinds of things to make you think some kind of way about yourself, your works and your ways. And again, it's all just to try to take you off your throne. It's all just to try to take you off your square. <laughs> well, I don't worry over what you think about this. Okay, so again, there must be something been being revealed. <laughs> and hey, look. It's almost seeming like somebody like coming at somebody saying, you know, mm, have I been a good servant? Well, I don't worry over what you think about this or what anyone else think. This is exactly, this is what the Bible's saying right here. I don't even trust my own on this point. My conscience is clear, but even that isn't final proof. It is the Lord himself who must examine me and decide. Some of us are just waiting just for that. And some of us have already been examined. So be careful not to jump to conclusions before the Lord returns as to whether someone is good, a good servant or not. Again, so we hope that every day this is what we're trying to do, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. When the Lord comes, he will turn on the light so that everyone can see exactly each uh, what each one of us is really like. And again, you know, this reminded me of like some lampstand or something. And I, I, was, I can't remember what it was that I saw. Um, and somebody was saying that they used to take a, a, a candle or some light and put it up to the, the womb of an animal, I believe, um, to see if, uh, you know, a birth or something was happening. Like, the, I guess it's before ultrasounds and stuff like that. You know, kind of like they do with eggs and stuff when they're doing, you know, raising chickens or whatever deep down in our hearts, then everyone will know why we have been doing the Lord's work, okay? So again, okay, everyone will be will know why we have been doing the Lord's work. At that time, God will give to each one whatever praise is coming to them. I wish they would stop. I have used Apollos and myself as an example to illustrate what I have been saying, that you must have, uh, you must not have favorites, okay? And again, this is something I feel like I struggle with, right? When it comes to just giving thanks in general, 
you know, maybe I was given too much. You know, I wasn't paying homage to the ancestors, but I was given energy here, right? Or, um, let me see. Mm. Or putting it, you know, when it comes to, um, where did we go? Okay, illustrate how I've been saying that you must not have favorites. Okay, yeah. So like, again, with certain energies or whatever, there's some that are more uh, prominent, right? Again, for me, there's two. Um, and then there's others. So again, I can't just only hear, you know, all the time, or I can't just be in that space all the time, right? I have to also do this part, and I also have to pull stuff and make sure that I'm uh, balancing things out because really I just go off of what I feel but then sometimes when you let energy around you I think that that can sometimes um, lead you to leaning on things that you may not have all you you maybe weren't going to go into you know um, and it, it seems like it's kind of going to be start being one-sided even though I don't just sit here and say oh yeah let me get you know it's something that usually comes to mind and then has me go into the word that way so I I'm like thinking of something and then I go seeking Okay, or vice versa. I'm reading the text and then I'll dip off into something totally different to get a little bit more information. Okay. So again, uh, and you must not be proud of one of God's teachers more than another. Okay. So again, this is like that whole thing, like I said, about exalting one up and then also backing that one and making sure that that, that one would be looking and appearing as though it is the the star. We're gonna use the star. We're gonna use because I mean I think I um I think that the star represents a lot again for me. Okay, in my in that energy, right? Like the brightest star or something like this. Like this is something that always comes up. Right? And again, this might come up for other people too, but I'm just saying for me, that resonates with me a lot. Okay. Um Okay, so again, um, and so it's, it's almost like even a campaign almost like, right? It's almost like a campaign. So again, if all these people are going to be campaigning, shouldn't they all have the rule book? Shouldn't they all know what's going on? Shouldn't they all be aware? Why should it feel like some people have been blinded or jaded? You know, and that's just how I feel sometimes. That's, this is just exactly how I feel. You know, I just feel like something and I just feel like bringing awareness to that. Because again, it is a part of this story. It's a part of, you know, like I said, my story, you know, and, and I think that it, it helps to talk about something when something happens like, like that so that people can learn from it, you know, these stumbling blocks, you know, and I, and I hope that I told myself I'm gathering myself. I kind of just really been in some kind of zone here, but I really do want to start my story, you know. like on a deeper scale with you guys. I just don't want to do it on YouTube. So I'm going to figure something out and we're going to, and we'll work it out. Okay. Again, must not be prouder of one teacher than the other. And again, it's all things, you know, whatever. I think that that sounds fair. Even though you probably don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> just saying. Uh, and then it says, why are you so, uh, what are you so puffed up about? What do you have that God hasn't given you? And if all you have is from God, okay, why act as though you are so, hold on, mm. hold on, great. And as though you have accomplished something on your own, right? So again, this also making me feel like again. So why are you so puffed up? Again, we can look at this as in your speech or somebody acting cocky or somebody just acting like I did this, I did this. Or it could just be saying somebody um, is looking, uh, uh, is fat. It is remind me of a fat, um, what do they call them in the text? Uh, I don't, and I'm not saying, listen, stop, because come on now, I'm, I'm uh, juicy, right? <laughs> so I'm not saying that. I'm not, just forget I just said that. 
But there's something that they use a term in this, um, a, and I don't even want to say what it's say. okay? But I'm not saying by appearance anyways. I'm saying like when he says that something is fat or a fat calf or something like that. Then we're talking about somebody that is filled up, greedy, about the bus. You see what I'm saying? About the bus, okay? What do you have that God hasn't given you? Wow. And if all you have is from God, why are you acting as though you are so great and as though you have accomplished something on your own? And see, this is why I like to give reference to, and I'm just saying in general, y'all, that we got to start learning how to treat people. We got to learn how to see what's right from wrong. I mean, it's almost like we are babies or somebody like, like, like the, people are acting as babes in this time. Like you don't know no better when you know better, you know better. And, I, and now I can see, like, I can see why God would have been just like feeling this kind of way. And I can see why it might have been hurt, like why he might have been hurt, why Elohim would have been hurt. When you see about like somewhat uh, manifesting and then you manifest something in someone else, you put all that work, all that energy and everything into it. And then somebody else, actually a creation of yours wants to then go off. Can you imagine how that would feel? Ooh. And then you, and, and could you imagine Elohim coming back and offering a hand again only to have the other one, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Because Christ is God. So if they did that to Christ, then they did that to God. So, but God ain't dead. Not no more. Never was. Just like wisdom, she moves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And again, so this also reminds me, and since it's spelled, and since it's written out just like that. It reminds me of people that will, again, have a copycat mentality and act as though they learned all these things on their own, dude. Okay? And will take from the, 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 the poor to, to feed to the rich. And I don't mean in that, that way. I mean they work for them and will take from you to give to them, whether it's just information or overthrow. I'm just going to call it how it is. There's always something that we should be looking into and something. We should be questioning everything. There's something that all of us should be researching again every day in order to make sure that this is a more perfect union. Again, if we are starting over and if we're at this point, again, you know, a lot of people that are in the biblical text, you know, we seem to think we know or, you know, what resonates with the times that we're in at least. That's a better way to put it. Okay. But there's always something. There's all, we can't stop, it's non, I'm learning this is non-stop. It's almost like I got to have this book every single day, all day long. It's like to the point where people in their family and stuff, I'm like, dude, I'm going to have to do something because <clears throat> can't stop, won't stop. It's deeper than this to me. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than us in my eyes, Right? So, um, you know, I, I feel like like spiritual warfare or just regular lives are being lost on deeper levels than we even know. There's hidden things going on. I feel them. I sense them. And like the, I think that's why um, sources had me kind of just sitting here. Um, the ancestors who, you know, like I said, too. Um, and just really going somewhere. And I just felt like, you know, on the fifth element, when that when that alien girl watch the video, you know, only, you know, she just came from somewhere. I've been sitting here, we been sitting here witnessing these things till it's at the point where of un, you unrecognition, is that what it's called? I think people stop talking about certain things and exposing certain things because it is just that bad. 
Now, I'm not saying there's no, no good at the end of the rainbow, but I'm just saying there's something going on and if we're not aware, and it's, it's the people's works, okay? Their ways, how they feel about this world. You can't feel one way about this world, but we're serving it by purchasing certain things that we don't really need. And again, whoever don't like it, whatever you want to do with it, you can go ahead and go with it because it's just that way. A lot of things we do, we don't have to. Again, for, for instance, we all do it. Ain't none of y'all biz. Y'all just be acting too damn nosy, so I ain't even going to say what it is. Matter of fact, some people probably already know what it is. And I feel some kind of way about it, but I'm like, no. Nah. That's something I need for growth. There's, some, there's something I need to um, be able to get, you know, organized, right? So again, I'm not saying things like this. I'm just saying like we are, when it comes to just being greedy, let's just put it like that. People should be able to do and buy whatever they want to do. When it, when it comes to uh, greed or buy, when, when you get to a point or, or accumulate or consume whatever they want to, but when you start consuming and accumulating things that are supposed to be shared with others or things that are, that are not yours, then that's a problem. See, then we got some kind of mob mentality or something. You know, and this comes to any kind of situation. This comes to any, this is not even specifically to certain so-called communities. Because we already been seeing right here in the text where it's saying certain things about doing that. And how one of these guys wasn't looking for that to be the way. All right. <clears throat> so it says, you seem to think you already have all the spiritual food you need. Okay. That's like, yeah. So I guess that's kind of, kind of like even what we were just saying. We seem to think we know, but we have no idea. You are full of spirituality content, rich kings on your thrones, leaving us far behind. I wish you really were already on your thrones, okay? So again, this is reminding me of something, okay? For when, let's see. For when that time comes, you can be sure that we will be there too, reigning with you. Sometimes I think God has put us apostles at the very end of the line. So again, almost the first shall be the last. But again, I don't know, this is reminding me of energy that again, present energy. And it don't seem like they last. It seemed like they first. So I don't know. And again, I'm, I like to take the non-biased approach. Again, if you have eyes to ear, <laughs> eyes to see and ears to hear, you'll understand, right? You'll understand, okay? Because again, that's funny that I keep using that term thrones and we're looking at it right here. And this is why I like to use the living Bible. And so we're going to go ahead and look at what it says over here in the um, King James. Let's see. It's just sometimes, like I said, when something like that comes in, it can kind of, you know, throw me because I don't expect to see that term in the book in the first place. And then all of a sudden, at the same time, it's reminding me of another energy, right? So <clears throat> my throat is so dry. Sometimes I think, okay, put us a, no, I want to see where it says thrones. Okay, eight. Okay. It says, now ye are full. Now ye are rich. Ye have reigned as kings without us okay now this sound more like what was on my heart look this sound more like what i was just thinking hold on now ye are full now ye are rich ye reigned as kings without us and i would to god ye did reign that we also might reign with you okay wow So again, I, and I guess this is like something like if you did right by, if you did right by God, then maybe they would be able to. But if you did certain things to God, I best I don't know if he would be able to trust people or she. For I think that God has set forth us apostles last. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, because this okay, this is the energy again that I've been feeling too. For so let's get into it. Hold on. <laughs> 
For I think that God hath set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. <clears throat> so it will be important to look up appointed okay because i know i am once i get off of here i think that god has set forth us apostles um us the apostles last so again with the apostles is this why they said that they didn't trust some of these like paul and them because did the apostles go ahead and put themselves first because they was afraid that they would miss out, but then they end up getting greedy and taking it all. This is just a question, all right? Or again, could it be in a different way where yes, that's what they are saying and that's what happened, okay? For I think that God has set uh, forth us the apostles last as it were um, appointed to death. Wow. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. Wow, a spectacle. And a spectacle, what's that? Ain't that the little thing that the dude on the Monopoly game have on his eye? I think, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But again, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Damn. Mm. But as it were appointed to death, what was the riches, uh, the riches, the throne? As it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are foolish for Christ's sake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak. But ye are strong, ye are honorable, um, but we are despised. Okay? Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffed, wait, uh, buffed, fitted. Okay? And have no curtain, no, oh my goodness, let me see, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor with, uh, and labor working with our own hands, being revealed, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world and are the off scoring of all things unto this day. Write not these things to shame you. But as my beloved sons or descendants, I warn you, for though ye have 10,000 instructions in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, again, I feel like this is two entities. I have begotten you through the gospel. Wow. 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 Wherefore, I beseech you, be ye followers of me. For this cause I have sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance my way, which be in Christ, as I teach everywhere in each, um, in every church. Okay, so again, the church can just be the bottle, the, I mean the bottle, the big what is we talking about? <laughs> the church can be the body, okay? The church can be the body, the group, the people, okay? Who is my beloved son or descendant and faithful in the Lord who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways uh, which be in Christ as I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. Okay, so again, some are feeling themselves, I guess, as though I would not come to you. So again, 
Um, yeah. So again, this is sounding like even like a sense of a messenger or a helper or a savior in a sense for someone. But I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. Wow. So again, there's a difference between being puffed up and the power because the puffed up is something that somebody is actually have to sit there and blow up, I would imagine. You know what I'm saying? When again, um, and, and I think that that is something that I don't know, just looking at that is kind of like, wow. But then the true power is going to be able to stand in that power. The true power is going to be the thing that I don't know. And again, I see it in so many people. It's just a natural thing that's within. And again, I think just because I'm at that point where I'm just vibing like that, where I can just feel your man. If I meet you right away, that's why I like to meet people, you know, in person. Because I, but again, it's it's so sensitive now that it's like even, you know, through other ways, uh, it's just a thing. And, but, <laughs> but for me, sometimes in the spiritual realm, it's very hard for me to, to discern, right? And I think because maybe it's that way. Maybe it's the reason why I can't read some of these energies, you know? Maybe it's just that, you know, the, the, their energy or frequency that I can't, you know, tap into for whatever reason to be able to weigh, you know what I'm saying? All the time where it's coming from. So then I have to just count on source and I have to just count on like that, which is like I said, within and other information that I've accumulated over time. Cause even, you know, that's just how I feel. Okay. And so my throat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, I better hurry up because I, I'm like probably even about to like lose my th throat. Yeah, I'm tired. Something is walking through my backyard and it's dark back there. Okay. Um, hold on one second. 